agamograph, named after Yaakov Agam, an Israeli sculptor deemed one of the pioneers of kinetic art. What's up, party people? Mount Tabor Art here. We're going to make agamographs today. Woohoo! You'll need two pieces of paper that are equal sized, a pair of scissors, some sort of glue, drawing materials like a pencil or a pen, and if you want to add color, either colored pencils or markers. Take one of your sheets of paper and put it in front of you horizontally, then fold it in half vertically. Make a crease and cut it into two equal parts. This particular agamograph is based on the lesson you'll find in the description on YouTube. You'll need a list of describing words from others and your own identity adjectives. Okay, so here are the two images and underneath I have the base paper that's horizontal. And this one on the left contains art using adjectives or describing words that others say about me. The right one uses images that I identify with. Now I'm going to fold the base paper accordion style using vertical folds. My first fold is going to go right down the middle and I'm going to line those corners up really good and give it a good crease. Then for my second fold, I'm going to fold it in half again. And then the last fold is my third fold, folding it in half, line those corners up. I use the scissors or a glue stick to get a good crease. Go ahead and unfold it and then count it. There should be eight spaces. Then we label these A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. The first artwork will be cut into strips and that'll be A, and the second artwork will be cut into strips and that will be B. Okay, we're going to take this first drawing, and remember they go vertical like this, and I'm going to fold this first drawing in half. Make sure your fold is vertical. Then I'm using my scissors to go ahead and cut right down that crease I just made. That fold, I turned it backwards just it helps me to see better the paper on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and fold this again right in half horizontally again. Go ahead and cut right on that crease again. And last fold for this one right in half again. Go ahead and cut it. Now you have four equally sized horizontal strips. Now we're going to do the same exact procedure for the artwork on the right. Here comes the big reveal and I tell you it's worth all this labor. You want to start with your A strip and I like to take the glue, dot it around a little bit and then smear it with my finger. Apparently, sometimes I drop the glue and scissors too. Go ahead and glue that first piece down. Definitely make sure that it's going the correct direction. Repeat gluing the strips down, every other strip, so you are gluing on those A strips only for that first work of art. It's time for the B strip. So those go in those other slots. Make sure they're going the correct direction before you glue them down. Okay. 
press all those pieces down, make sure there's no little air bubbles in there. Okay, here's the gamograph before the final accordion fold. This is the accordion fold from the side. You're going to flip it over and fold from the back and then the front and the back and the front and the back. Each time you're going to make a crease heavily with a glue stick or a side of a pair of scissors. Here's the view of the gamograph from the left side, the warm colors, the right side, the cool colors. And here's the full effect when you pass by it. You could hang it either on a wall or display it on a table.